Well, hello, Rolex watch fans. This is watch fan Henry. I'm in one of my favorite cities, Tokyo. And this is the entrance to the uh, Nakano station and Nakano shopping area. And this is actually a very famous location for Rolex watch enthusiasts. Uh, behind me, about a five minute walk down this long walkway is the famous Nakano Broadway shopping arcade. And in that shopping arcade, it's my opinion that it is hollowed ground for Rolex watch enthusiasts. There's probably more Rolexes in the Nakano Broadway building than there can be found anywhere on planet Earth for such a small section of land, actually. As you'll see, uh, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. And if you're ever in Tokyo, you might want to come and check this out. And we're going to have a look and see what it's all about here. So this is it, everybody. Uh, this is the entrance, the front entrance to the Nankano Broadway shopping building. It's about a four or five story building. It's at the end of the uh, Nankano Broadway walkway here in Tokyo. As you can see, I've walked down this long hall. Not that long, it's about a five minute walk from the station. The station is at the center there where, where I started uh, the video. And then you walk down that hall and you arrive at the Nankano Broadway. And as well, you can see the, uh, the ads at the top there. It's speaking our language. But yeah, this building is, in my view, it's hollowed ground for Rolex watch enthusiasts like us. Uh, the top, I, I believe it's the top three or four uh, floors in this building are filled. And as you can see, they're actually showing um, on the screen there uh, above me, they're filled with stores, non-stop stores, nothing but Rolex watches so um, I've never been to Dubai or um, other places in the Middle East that I understand have a lot of Rolex watches on offer but I would seriously doubt that they have as many wall-to-wall -wall shops packed with Rolex watches as this place so if you're a fan of Rolex uh, you're probably gonna find that these stores are gonna have a watch that you would be interested in purchasing and it's only here in Japan. It's strange because you think of, you know, the favorite Japanese brands, you know, Hitachi, Datsun, uh, Sanyo, etc. Well, those are Japanese home brands, but the Japanese themselves actually are in love with Rolex. Rolex is, um, it's, a, it's a sign of achievement and accomplishment here in Japan. And uh, Japanese people in their working careers, they strive to have the success be able to purchase a uh, Rolex watch. So you'll see just how many Rolexes are available for purchase here at Nankano Broadway. Uh, it's my second visit to this location and I absolutely am looking forward to seeing what's on offer. And by the way, you don't want to show up too early. It's 11 o'clock and I do believe most of these shops open around 11 o'clock in the morning. If you, if you arrive here earlier, you'll find most of them are closed. So let's get on with the tour. So I'm up here on the third floor and behind me is one of my favorite Rolex shops here in Tokyo. I actually bought a watch here last year, so I'll have a look and see what they've got this year for me. See if they have anything interesting. Here we have the Milgaus lineup. As you can see, the uh, the cheapest is about 1.1 million yen, which is about 7,500 US dollars. I think it's pretty reasonable. Couldn't touch it for that price in Europe, I know that. And next we have the beautiful lineup of Air Kings. Most of these watches are near new. Some of them are actually brand new. And again, they're starting off at about 7,400, 7,500 US. Far cheaper than the US, for sure. So this is a uh, 2002 watch. 2021, and it's a million and 27 yen. Um, so basically brand new. 1 million and 27,000 yen, excluding the tax. That's the tax-free price. So these are basically, if you're interested, uh, 7,500 US dollars each. Um, for these Air Kings, they're all about 2020, 2021, 2022. 
and yeah the that those prices work out to about a uh, 7500 us a piece roughly so he just told me the purple tags are brand new so they've never been worn and they are with box and paper the purple tags so they're about 7500 us dollars roughly that's that's new the purple tag The balloon ones are quite expensive. Brand new model. These are used. These are used. Oh, this is brand new. The purple one. It's brand new. These are brand new pieces here. Brand new pieces. That's brand new. These are 41 millimeter date justs, stainless steel. That's used. This is a 2022 date just, um, 1.1 million, so that's about 7,500 US dollars. Yeah, 2022. Um, the one beside it is 2015. Uh, it's a little bit less costly. That's 1 million and 63,000 yen. Yeah. I hope this video has whet your appetite to see more of my Rolex Tokyo adventure. Uh, the part two video is going to be coming to YouTube very shortly. If you're not already a subscriber to my Watch Fan Henry channel here on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very, very soon with the next video. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments. Bye for now.